gonna find anyone as Bill Bus or sorry, Oculus Sater is gonna bring that one in for two points. Miss it off the side, but Oculus Sater gets a recovery and oh. takes his shot off the head of Van Z as it goes in. Well, that's tough. It's still a three, just the same, so uh, clearly my chest overshot a little bit off the backboard, but just gonna hit the dinger. But Soycy oh. able to recover that one and get that one in. Dinger and then in two performances lately. Good read from the law is going to send this one all the way down for a oh. three point shot. He's going to put that off the backboard, not miss any part of the goal there as he gets momentum that six foot over wanted here. Oh, and maybe even piling on some more for a lead. How about that turnaround now? This, these just past 45 seconds alone, nine to seven. But he's going to like to take that shot. He just misses off that shot though. It's going to be a crack over to the law. The law once again go up the backboard with that stun coming in. That's going to be a great play coming from six foot over. As he's gonna reset this one back over to Soycy. Soycy hitting him with oh, the gun, no. <laughs> and he's hitting him with the shot. What a shot coming up from Soycy! And almost cleared out, but just gonna hit a little bit of the tunnel. But not to be worried, as a nice steal is gonna come out from the side. And wow. Oculus Center gonna be hitting off that leech and hitting that three. And see now, relatively with a one-on-one -on -one against the goalie. See what he oh. does. He's gonna get it stolen from Philibus as he just comes across at the end. And he's in dismay too, letting out a an audible what? Or short range leeches kind of coming, trying to get the disc back and just wrangle it, but all kinds of tangled right there now for a breakaway one on one play. What a good delivery. So now the assist from Ocula. One all the way down to the end. Maybe the boost coming out from six foot over as well. The law gonna take that one in, take that nice open two. Great efficiency there on the stack. Uh, not much more I can say. That clear gonna come out nonetheless. Maybe we're gonna see a boost come out from Skull Crusaders. They're gonna hit that and gas. Gonna put that one away for two. What a nice shot there too. A very uh, of the law now. The law looking as a straight up pass is gonna go into the hands of Van. Van's gonna look for that pass oh, down to yeah. the law. That's... The law is gonna put that one away. Great passing coming from six foot over. That's we're gonna have a nice cross pass go to Soycy. Soycy's gonna take that one back to Ancast. Ancast now getting that stun. Soycy and Soycy with people all over him again is gonna get that one to long as, as some of these veteran teams have, like we just saw with Kang and, and Infinite. Right there though. Oculus. Open a goal, well sort of, one on one rather, but off the open pass to the backboard. I like luck, trying to look for one more, no time to come back, but certainly time for a goal. Whoa, just maneuvered all through a trio of defenders. A couple of them in there, one in the lights, as we launch out this round three, delightfully at the end of the night. And it's going to be Van Z. Quite all right on that one for the first couple points for another delivery into a goal opportunity. Indeed, here it goes. Only coming down from it, but going to be able to get that one as Leaf Round. Good stuns coming from Oculus Sater, as Philippus is going to get those stuns off, leaving Oculus Sater with plenty of time to take a three. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he's going to do, put his team up by three. I feel like we're saying his name a lot, but I guess for good reason. I mean, here right now it's going to be Ant Guess. So Anthony Gasolini now going seven to two for Skull Crusaders. Along with all these great moves, these passing plays, the great, you know, Shot accuracy to leeches, and right now, Oculus Aider teaches everyone at home that he is here to play. But the law able to stun him out and get a clear going himself. And a nice pass going down to Vancey. Vancey has a wide open shot, and he isn't going to miss anything as he takes the three. That was a tough miss there. I think maybe shot a little bit early. It was a tough angle, and it was taken from far out. Uh, right there, not far out at all. It's going to go right in for Soycy. Now expanding their lead to five. the bottom, but not going to get the right bounce. But back in the hands of Oculus Sater. He's oh. going to dunk that one in with a little bit of flair. That 360 coming out from Oculus Sater. Yeah, and off of what? Might have a little bit of a moment of sportsmanship coming out in the middle. And the handshake's going to come.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream here in VR Master League, Sunday, chock full of games. I'm Palador, being joined once again for his 101st cast now. It's Sir Dimwi. Yeah, 101. Uh, now over the hump there uh, into that, uh, that triple digit territory as uh, teams are starting to ready up now. But we've got a, a, an interesting one here, a good one here. Uh, European matchup. Uh, late in the day, uh, this is between Alpha Ducks and a Vertigo. Alpha Ducks coming in at 1150 MMR, 3 and 8 record uh, with another two loss versus Viber on Vibers on Wednesday. Excuse me, Vertigo coming in. MMR of 1190, 5 and 6 on the season with another two loss versus Smash Dash uh, most recently. So, yeah, as uh, teams get ready here and watch for this joust. And launch they do. They're with plenty of time, just opting to stay behind are the Alpha Ducks. So, it's Vertigo on offense first. Uh, hello to the Twitch chat, everyone joining us today and throughout the day. See the law in there, the law dash. And uh, 16 others, at least right now. So, uh, thanks for being in our company as Stody being joined by some uh, blue company getting knocked in the head there as Twain goes in for a nice pass to Kai and the first two 30 seconds in. Yeah, that was a beautiful feed there from uh, Twang Pants to the Kai. Uh, twang on that that kind of that far side wall, uh, that kind of half wall, uh, uh, angled wall behind the goal there. He gets a beautiful pass off the Kai. Kai putting that one up for the two to drop the first blood here in round one. And so a minute in, it's Stody receiving this one in the tunnel, just avoiding that stack. A Ninja Knight gets it over on that side wall. Nice crossover and then back to the tunnel. Trying to spread the floor here and find their passing lanes. Got uh, the pass over there and on the turnaround maybe was considering the shot but opted for the back pass instead here. Perhaps a smart move. It would have been a tough angle with very low momentum on that shot. But over here, stopping all momentum is Kai as he gets the sling into the pocket. You know, when he turned around there, it looked like maybe he was looking for uh, the empty net. When he saw the goalie, he realized, you know, he's on the fade. Uh, it's hard enough to make a shot on a goalie. Uh, but a great shot there from Tube. Oh, just bouncing off the... You know, they're right in the hands of Kai, and Kai's able to put that one in for the three, and now uh, Vertigo finding themselves up by five here uh, early on in round one. Great job on the second chance opportunity. Right in line for the rebound. The stacks uh, for Alpha Ducks unable to get there back into the goal on time. So, yeah, five points. A couple minutes in. Vertigo. Uh, Lil Rad taking this one out, and that's a strong pass that is received. And... Uh, Right back to Ninja Knight, in fact. Kind of a self-pass as Martin gets it and slings it to the intercepted, though, from uh, Damus. So into the two-point zone, just narrowly avoiding that shot going in, actually, as some stuns go out. Twang Pants and Martin double-stunning each other, resulting in a turn over here now to the other side off that slap. And a lot of brawls coming out, in fact. In that back line, it's Damus buying his team a Millennium to work with. To recollect the disc. Yeah, something you like to see uh, when, when there's that kind of turnover, uh, an opportunity for one team to clear and boost, uh, stunning that team out uh, and stopping them from getting down there, giving your defense enough time to get to it and uh, uh, deal with it carefully. Uh, so we don't see that right there as there's a lot of scrums going out right around that Vertigo bubble, but now Vertigo is trying to turn it around, uh, get another opportunity here on Alpha so up high, it's tapped out to the bottom of the floor where Lil Rad's there, but a great punch and grab at the same time. So a doubly nice play from Kai as he hands it off to Twang Pants cutting and Twang uh, looking up high but didn't connect with a teammate. So uh, Martin receiving this one and backing it out now to Stody as he'll be contested by Sanch. Yeah, a lot of great contest, uh, uh, contesting here uh, from both teams. Uh, doing a really good job of challenging uh, all these passes and trying to get the other team on their back foot, kind of playing on their heels. And another turnover here. Uh, yeah, so both teams doing a really good job, job of disrupting each other here on this round one so far. Yeah, these teams not shy at all when it comes to the brawls. They will uh, gladly dole out the, the punches and bunches. As, as we know, a lot of these uh, the European teams, they love to stack, and they're uh, fastest in the world at that. But uh, some of these teams, too, they're just definitely more conscious about the brawls. And I, I know Alpha Ducks are uh, definitely one of them. Uh, Vertigo here going in for a shot. It's Damus. Getting that angle up tight, and it's uh, up to eight now for their team here. Yeah, nice three there from Damus. Doesn't hesitate, and he couldn't. 
Uh, had he waited even a tenth of a second longer there, goalie had a, would have had a much greater uh, opportunity to get the save on that. Uh, but because Davis doesn't hesitate, he gets that one in before the goalie can uh, get there to make a play on it. Yeah. Beautiful shot. A very interesting Ooh. roll out there from uh, Alphadox. I want to see that again. Uh, an effective one at that because here it goes. Oh, but just missing the pass. Maybe a miscommunication. Otherwise, it uh, could have been a great rollout. That might have been a goal opportunity right there, though. All floating very close to Ninja Knight. Unable to grab that one. So back into the pocket it will go. But... Yeah, uh, another thing I talk about the stacks, well, the rollouts too, especially unique here in Europe. We're seeing more from North America, more and more, but overall I'd say uh, definitely the, the rollouts, the joust rollouts, uh, the European teams definitely get a lot more varied and creative with it, I think, on a regular basis. But like I said, it, it's catching up between the two regions. It's still fun to watch, however. Yeah, there's definitely some very interesting uh, rollouts out there, and uh, we see every day we see a, uh, a few more. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see you know, how the game progresses uh, into the future in that regard, because there's definitely a lot of uh, a lot of room for creativity out there. Yeah, I know uh, your team on Nova is one of those. We're right here going in from above. It's Kai, a 10 point lead now as we approach these uh, final couple minutes here, oh, four minutes rather. But uh, so last. Last two plays now, uh, that last one I think uh, was about a two minute round or so off at Joust. That one one minute, so starting to slow down in this latter half. Now uh, Stody will find that corner wedge pass directly to the other side, but Martin maybe diving a little, little uh, early there, so can't quite get the disc. Uh, intercept now as Martin does get a nice grab, uh, short range leech into the uh, Stody intercept here. Steel, now Ninja Knight with a disc, trying to look up high, maybe. Got a uh, Lil Rat in the area, but instead some ricochets, a good leech, Twang Pants, takes the chance and not very, uh, not very much the results they were looking for, but look at the, all those players unfolding at once for Vertigo as they do go up by a dozen. Yeah, nice pass there from Sanch to uh, Damas behind the goal. Uh, doesn't really have a great angle for the shot. Uh, could have maybe even attempted the shot because that's definitely uh, a hard one to get a stop on as a goalie. But he opts to send it behind the goal to Sanch, forcing the goalie to, to make a 180 degree turn uh, to get an opportunity on the save there. And we see that roll out again. Uh, what, I, I like, oh, uh, I really like the look of, that one almost goes in. That wasn't even just that wasn't a roll out. That was a shot. They don't need, they don't need a roll out. That was almost right in for sure, uh, but narrowly avoided that danger. And a middle, middle man in the chat saying, don't let me down, Vertigo. Need to keep up my connoisseur. And that is going to at least buy them some opportunities here to uh, get some momentum for Alpha Ducks. Nice shot from Stody off the steal. Yeah, that was a nice shot from Stody. Sending that one in from 16 meters out, high up uh, near that, that the, the sky ramp there. Uh, going in for a good three. And now Alpha Ducks within nine. So game still within reach uh, if they can mount a comeback here in the last three minutes. Yeah, and uh, just back to the Connoisseur for a second, we already saw one upset of sorts between uh, Kang and Illuminati. Obviously both top teams, but Illuminati was not favored in that Connoisseur vote. Didn't matter, they just clutched it. Right here, trying to clutch the disc off the rebound. Kai, again, so uh, one of the big stories here for Vertigo in this first round is these these rebounded plays are getting a lot of these second chances now and uh, definitely buying them some great looking goals. And I didn't catch who it was, but there's a goalie in goal. Goalie sees the disc uh, go up behind the goal and kind of bites on it, maybe trying to uh, get a read on uh, maybe not knowing somebody was back there trying to get an interception on that pass. Uh, but, yeah, draws that goalie out and leaves the net wide open there for that uh, that two behind the goal. It's a good cross pass there to Twang Pants. He's going to be patient with it with only a minute 50 remaining. They don't need to rush. They just need some nice touches on these passes and they'll be able to secure it. That one, just a tough angle coming in from up high and all the defense just diving, not only on that, but even that one right there as a shot goes in off a good stun from Sanch, but Damus converting. Yeah, that was a nice, uh, beautiful feed from Twang out to Damus. Uh, again, uh, I, I think we've seen a couple of those now in this game and I, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Uh, as, as I comment on the fact that it was a beautiful in-pass from Twang to Damas. Uh, Damas again right in front of the goal. Goalie getting stunned out and it's beautiful too there. Uh, now they're up by 13. Uh, maybe coming away with this round one here. Oh, especially if that one goes in. It will not, but still floats off into the back line where Kai is able to retrieve it. Uh, dish off. Missing the first player. Missing the second, in fact, too. Maybe they both thought 
the other one had it, so they're trying to look for the re-grabs at the moment. But here comes the Alpha Ducks, trying to retain the disc. And they do! It's Lil Rad with a great grab and finds the two. Yeah, that's uh, that's what they needed. I don't know if it's enough uh, to, to get a comeback here down by 11, uh, but maybe something they can build off of going into round two. It's well done there by Lil Rad to get the hand on that and get that one past the tech goalie uh, to get that one in. Yeah, if there's any time... Uh, to start making your shots if you are in those situations like this one where your team is behind by a, a decent amount if there's any time that you need to make it it's towards the end of the round you know it's it's yeah it's already going to be a guaranteed win here for vertigo in the first round but at least get those late game shots so you can go into the next round uh with some better momentum for alpha ducks so vertigo still though maybe one more play if they can just chuck it in there they, they will uh, gonna be a tough shot, doesn't go through, so 16 to 5 to end round one for Vertigo. And well done uh, to Vertigo here. I mean, they, they played very, very well in this game. Uh, not for nothing, Alpha Duck's doing a good job of, of you know, mucking it up and, and trying to make it difficult here uh, for Vertigo as we go to those team stats. Uh, you do see Vertigo with a, a pretty good lead on possession time, 57% uh, favored, uh, 3 minutes 40 seconds versus 2 minutes 45 seconds. And you see how that translates to uh, shots taken, uh, even though quite a bit more shots, uh, com uh, relatively speaking, uh, to that possession time. A 71% favor of uh, Vertigo there, 10 to 4. Uh, but then over on the individual stats, you got game high points to Kai currently with 9, uh, Damas with 7, and then of course 4 uh, assists to Sanch and 2 there to Twang Pants. Uh, so a lot of good teamwork there. You can kind of see. Uh, uh, Playmakers versus scores, uh, almost evenly distributed uh, between the, the teammates there on Vertigo. But then over on uh, Alpha Ducks, you've got Sturdy with three points, Little Rabbit two, and then a couple uh, a save a piece to Martin the Third and Ninja Knight. Uh, so yeah, Alpha Ducks doing a, an alright job of, of stuffing the lanes once um, Vertigo gets into their zone. But Vertigo doing just such a, such a uh, great job. Excuse my stutter of uh, commanding uh, control of the disc down in the uh, their all three offensive zone there. Yeah, so this uh, second round opening will be a good test here for Alpha Ducks. Got a lot of talent on this team, and they just need to open this up with the right rhythm, if nothing else. Uh, Vertigo will get there, there's no doubt. They're also a very good team right here. That one's going to sail close and just missing the hands of a couple players. But yeah, so Alpha Ducks, these first two minutes, I feel, are going to be huge in determining what happens in this game. Right now, Sans just a gentle lay-in for the first two. Study actually making a really good read on that pass. He knew Sanch was up behind him. Uh, he was waiting for that pass uh, to Sanch from Twang Pants. Uh, he comes out to try to make the interception on it, but not quite there. Uh, and it does get into the hands of Sanch. Sanch able to put that one in the empty goal to draw first blood here in round two. And uh, Magnus WTV over there in the chat saying, hey, hey back. Welcome to the stream. And uh, thanks for the Hi. follow as well. Here we have a dive coming in from a couple boosted players, but just out of their reach. And Lil Rad slingshotting it, but finding no one but Twang. So Twang looking for that play to the backboard. A familiar spot for Vertigo. Couldn't convert, but an intercept in the mid lane from Damus. Now as Kai does roll in here on three different defenders, just tries going around the back perhaps, flinging it, still taking the disc, but uh, right back now. Uh, Martin finally getting a clear here for Alpha Ducks as they go on the offensive, trying to redirect themselves as fast as they can. You know, you see some good speed here from both teams trying to get a handle on it. Uh, does finally find the hands of Sanch there, but yeah, some great uh, boosts as we're seeing. We see another one there, uh, kind of a staple of the European style of play. And going for the passing plays now. Trying to back it here to the bow tie, still uh, stuck on Alpha Duck's own side of the floor. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, chains bothering there, those passes, but finally it's starting to separate, so this gives Alpha Ducks the opportunity to breathe and hopefully get on the board for them to tie it up. So there's a pass. The here. Oh, missed. Just, yeah, sorry. My, my, uh, go ahead. Just missing the hands of Little Red there, but Stody does recollect, so still a shot here at the goal. But just looking for that rhythm uh, right now, a little bit off. That shot may be a little bit off as the stacks speedily come through for everyone involved. Both teams piling on the disc here. Goal momentarily open. And now looking for the disc, though, is Ninja Knight. So does get that out of there. Good hands to snag it out. 
Yeah, good job there from Ninja Knight because uh, they definitely, Vertigo definitely had a great opportunity on goal. They had a player of their own sitting in goal, uh, just waiting for a shot opportunity to come in to make sure it goes in. Uh, but the shot never uh, gets off, and uh, they're able to, to maintain control here. And uh, now Vertigo trying to get in, and again, uh, but Alphadox sending it back out immediately. And that one just will be a rebounded goal, and there are the first couple points for the Alpha Ducks. And there you go. I mean, that was two minutes of play. Uh, Vertigo almost with a sustained attack from for most of those two minutes. Uh, and then Alpha Ducks able to turn that one around, get the clear out and the boost down first. Martin the third able to put that one up for the two. And now we're tied up with just under seven. And then right now, a lot of the, as we saw in round one, the brawls paying dividends at the moment. These two teams are uh, just about tied up in that regard after that last play, 64 to 65 stuns respectively. So I mentioned, you know, these teams do enjoy the brawls from time to time. Suffice to say, as another steal goes along the way for Ninja Knight, that's another grab, that's turned into a clear, that's turned into a boosted three-point shot. Loose there by Martin, letting it loose, I should uh, say. And that's a great play for Alpha, because now they're in the lead. Alpha finding their lead for the first time in this game, and uh, I, I don't want to say too much now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let them take it away here. Yeah, yeah, I got nothing to say. Let's, uh, let's see this happen. <laughs> Well, Vertigo does go on the offense here, a place they did not find themselves uh, you know, the beneficiaries of very often. Joust advantage, that is, which is to say, I guess, maybe not a benefit. But in any case, going here to Sanch off the backboard will fly off. You know, a very effective scoring game last round for, uh, the, for Vertigo here. They're trying to make a play on the goal, but that shot saved by Stody, taken from maybe a little, just a step too far out, so that does enable a great save from Stody. It was great, great hands by Steady to get the stop on that. And then uh, this clear out bouncing around a little bit, going it right into the hands of Alpha Ducks. Alpha Ducks going to get another opportunity here on the goal. But yeah, this this, this drive, uh, thanks to uh, sponsored by Steady in goal. Also sponsored by Pro 2 VR and VR Cover. <laughs> Now that you mention it, but over here goes the little rat, and he finds there that shot is. now. And there is seven points. That is a few goals consecutively here as Alpha Ducks looks to come out of the gates uh, running here in the first half of round two. I'm, I, I, I hitched my horse to this train, and uh, I've got nothing to say after that one either. Let's uh, let's keep this ball rolling here, Alpha Ducks. Let's let's. Uh, I want to see a game three. Oh yeah, we all, we all do. If nothing else, our main horse in the race is Casters. It's just uh, seeing the best possible matches, going to round threes, overtimes, and any of that, uh, you know, entertaining kind of competition that we can get. We love seeing it when it's just right up to the last minute. Even mentioned that Kang game earlier, Kang and Illuminati. Both of those two rounds, even though it was only two rounds, still went down to the last minute, and those are the kinds of uh, matches you love to see. Now, not quite getting the handles off that pass, couldn't uh, get the read on it so instead of clear going from Damus as a stack does get kind of split apart here for uh, Vertigo still might get there first and they do and just in time as Kai uh, finds the goal here to bring it to a three-point deficit yeah that chain came in fast from uh, Alpha Ducks they, they got caught up a little bit behind uh, they knew they had to get there quickly they did get there quickly but not quick enough Kai able to put that one in for the two from behind the goal uh, but now Vertigo within three four minutes to go uh, let's see if uh, Alpha Ducks can answer. Certainly trying. Right now, Sanch uh, for Vertigo doing a great job breaking up some stacks in the back line. Oh, but the mishandle from Twang Pants enables this shot from three, and that's a 10 to 4 lead. And uh, since there's still plenty of time left to go, and I don't want to. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say after that one. Uh, uh, Are you. Keep, uh, keep it rolling. I'm, I'm starting to catch on here. You're trying not to casters curse it, because. <laughs> That's I can't believe you said I can't believe you just said it. I cannot believe you just said it. Oh, I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't curse anything. I didn't say anything related to the game. I'm just pointing out Caster's curse in general. But since I said it, maybe now you won't. But then since I just said it again, maybe you will. I don't know how how this all works. It's a bunch of voodoo. But uh Sanch will come through with a great save though from Stody again off the backboard. Easy does it as they get that rebounded shot though, and it's Kai undoing the otherwise great save. Yeah, it's a great save there from Stody. Sends it out and uh, ends up in the hands of Kai there. Kai doesn't hesitate, sees that empty nope. goal, and uh, takes that shot, and it's good for the three there. Uh, and now Vertigo within three. Incorrect replay was shown. My bad on that one. 
Uh, right here, though, losing the disc. It's Sanch, and he will not miss. One point game. So, so uh, Palador. Hey, this is a competitive game. Isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> on, uh... <laughs> Let's see if this replay works. Hold on, hold on. On the point okay, of, uh, you shouldn't have said it. I didn't say anything about the game itself. I was just talking about you. But look, it's a one-point game with two minutes left. Is that not competition? I think it is. That, that's what I'm going to roll with anyway. I'm trying to, to divert blame here. This, just don't worry about it. Over here to Vertigo, bottom pocket, taken over now with a chance to uh, go ahead. We saw a few consecutive goals from uh, Alpha Ducks, maybe a few consecutive from Vertigo if they can play their cards right. Cruising. I don't want to hear it in the chat. Uh, anyway, over here it goes. Tapped out. Cruising knows what's up. Cruising know what you did. I've done nothing. Right here, though, trying to do something for Vertigo to take this lead. Late game. Taken. Martin needs to get rid of it. Has Twang Pants all over. But uh, instead, yeah, just takes a bad ricochet. Taken right back. Nice stun from Lil Rad. Nice second stun from Lil Rad. Enabling. If they can, that back pass, and there you go. So Alpha Ducks finding that control, maybe. So now it will go into the bottom ramp, just squeezing past the players, but taken right back again. This time Sanch and Damis there as some quick stacks come out from Alpha Ducks, and they do get there first, but oh, the miss grab was a little too fast to catch. And now with some opportunities, if they can't cut this off, will be the one-point lead for Vertigo. One minute yeah, left. Yeah, that's... Great play there from Vertigo. Way to make that one happen as they uh, they get the hand on the disc. They have the two players down. Twang Pants, uh, excuse me, Kai, two Twang Pants. who comes in off of the nest. There were two uh, two Alpha Ducks players in goals. One of them getting stunned out. One still there uh, to attempt to save on it. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the hand on it. And uh, now Vertigo up by one. Uh, let's see if Alpha Ducks can make this happen. Of course, it's game three. Now the rollout, not quite online for them, but this clear. If they can get some boosts together, uh, they are there with some time, but... Everyone just kind of overshooting, so 30 seconds. Getting there is Alpha Ducks trying to collect themselves and look for that a great pass recognition on that one, trying not to panic too much as that shot or that, that clear just goes out of the touch and out of the reach. 17 seconds left. It's right back to Alpha Ducks. Looking for that passing play to Ninja Knight. Another soft one over to Stody. So everyone collapsing on the goal for maybe one more play, and there it is, the one-point lead. Alpha Ducks, the curse ain't real. It's a ground three. We will see. Woo! As, uh, yeah, what a beautiful feed there from Stody to Little Rad. Uh, uh, yeah, Stody moving in. Gets a beautiful duck on the defender uh, as he enters the bubble. Gets a pass up to Little Rad. It comes in uh, cutting off of the ceiling. Gets it in for the two. Uh, and they, they do take this one in. The, uh, they do take this round two by one in the last 10 seconds there. And, uh, of course, you, no you, you, were to say, Palador, you were saying, but uh, they are able to come back. Look, look, and, look, look. No, no, no. You stop right now. See, if you it, ended the role, buddy, you ended the role. If it had you gone them to fight for it, it was a great fight. I'll give you that. But you ended the role. And but, I put it all on you. And if they're watching this VOD, uh, don't harass him for it. He didn't mean it. No, see, look, look, look. If it had gone on to the trajectory that it was set, uh, that would have been a blowout. I made it close. You should thank me. You know, Professionals have a, a term for this. Do you know what it's called? Uh, rationalizing. You are rationalizing right now. You know what you did. You know you're responsible for it. Just read the stats, did we? <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, Kai, uh, still with the game high points now of 14. Uh, that's not a couple. It's a few, as they say. I feel called uh, out. Of course, uh, <laughs> you are called out. <laughs> Seven <laughs> points to Damus. Uh, four to Sanch, two to Twang Pants. And oh, look at those assists, though. Uh, four assists to Sanch, three assists to Twang, one to uh, Kai. Beautiful uh, teamwork there on the, uh, the side of Vertigo, uh, getting those goals in. But then, uh, of, course, of course, the story around two was uh, the team of uh, Alpha Ducks. But, uh, yeah, you all saw the stats as we get started here for uh, round three. Absolutely going for the absolute two from just the inner bubble, seven meters out, and there's Alpha Ducks' hot start. I want to know if we can do it again. Well, we'll see. <laughs> We're about to find out. About to find out. But yeah, you mentioned Vertigo in that on that stats sheet, uh, looking at their assist line. Very impressive. And you know, I'm someone who really values the good passes. It's m one of my favorite aspects, probably my favorite aspect of the game, just the uh, passing and team play. And uh, Vertigo is one of those teams when they're on, like their teamwork is uh, right on point there. It's really, really strong. Uh, sometimes they do have games where they just kind of disappear on that, and in terms of being able to secu uh, secure all those assists, 
but uh, you know when they're at their full potential, as we see them like uh, right now and uh, across this game, it's it's very fun to watch those passes. As that one is a fun to watch shot from Martin for the fifth point. The weather in Pittsburgh right now is absolutely beautiful. It's sunny. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. It's like 53 degrees Fahrenheit. A uh, great day for a hike, honestly. A hike with a sweater. You know, nothing too uh, serious. I don't recall asking for the wind conditions, did we? We're not, we're not Kung and, and, and skinny. <laughs> but I do appreciate that. That's good to know. Glad the weather is good up there, but uh, out there it's uh, being grabbed over and over, back-to-back -back steals, and eventually dealing it to the blue side. Vertigo here. On the approach, everyone stunning each other, but coming away with it is Martin backing it out. Some good passes, some great shots. Lil Rad, eight points. I want to point out, who's the last one to mention the thing that we're not talking about? It was Dimwi, so I can blame Dimwi for this if this goes astray. Fun fact, the <laughs> hottest chili pepper in the world is so hot it could kill you. That's a horrible fact, especially, especially in today's climate. We're, we're, we're all lively here in, in VRML and the Echo community. Absolutely, as that uh, pass a little bit off and we'll give an opportunity to Vertigo to maybe score here. Only a couple minutes expired, so uh, they're going to be plenty fine as long as they can uh, start finding those passes that they were finding a lot of success with in the first couple rounds. You know, seeing some great passing here from uh, Vertigo in the offensive zone, kind of what they're, what they're good at. And uh, definitely Ooh. looking for a good oh. goal there. Oh, off the head of Stody. That one goes in. Uh, great attempt there. But, yeah, good for two as Vertigo brings themselves with a six here. That was a good one right there. Yeah, Sanch. It was uh, Sanch with the shot. Kind of getting stunned and the unfortunate roll right off Stody's head. So, regardless, uh, it will be Vertigo with a couple points. They'll take it gladly. And uh, Emil with a, a, a note on the... Uh, on the stream, but I'm seeing, uh, did something bug out on the stream UI there? Uh, no, maybe just something bugged out on my end. All fixed. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, thanks for the, the notes. I just didn't press the button. So, oh, this, I see what you mean, actually. That's really strange. I have no idea. Anyways, we'll maybe fix, we'll see what happens on the next replay. That's, I've never seen that before at all that's strange anyway over here don't mind the weird ui stuff going on at the moment as little rad tries to go for the shot and palador tries to figure out what's up yeah that was a great opportunity there from stody goes off that backboard but just uh just off the mark and now uh alpha Duck's picking this one up again I look for another opportunity here uh, as they start sending this one out but right in the hands of twang uh -oh. pants goals open pants. and cut off <laughs> Oh, and there, Martin third with the steal. Sending that one down again. Yeah, that's going to bounce into the bubble here as a stack gets there first, but overshooting. So instead, Vertigo gets it right back here on the defensive end. Now so, uh, bouncing around uh, on this near side wall. Stuttery's going to get a hand on it, send it in deep. And uh, I think that was Martin the third. Can't quite get a hand on it. Now in the hands of who's that damage. He's going to send that one all the way back down. And uh, we'll just go right back to Alpha Ducks now. So a lot of back and forth across the floor as the shot is just taken out by Lil Rad playing that one. Uh, getting it back here is Martin the third. He has the angle and he gets it. Great shot from the bottom. Martin. Palador. Palador. Did you know the Canary Islands are named after dogs, not birds? I, I know now. Thank you for the... Trivia, and look, UI is fixed. Very strange. Obviously, it got stuck on the replay there, but we're not going to mind that because you know what? We have still five minutes of play, and we're trying to not... We're, we want to see a good game here unfold as Sanch goes in. But right now, the defense from Alpha Ducks is uh, causing some trouble. Uh, there it is again. So Lil Rad going for that top shot. Won't drop, but maybe the rebound will. That's some great uh, uh, little dis some disc movement there from... Uh, Vertigo there right around their bubble as uh, one player gets stunned out. He sends it right back to the other player in the bubble. That was a beautiful little sequence there, but uh, two or three passes. So Lil Rad trying to go up high, but there's a good cutoff from Vertigo. It's a Sanch in the way. Now just trying to look for a leech or a boost somewhere, but right now just a slow on that approach on getting the stacks together. So uh, Alpha Ducks re-enabled on the offense. Maybe. <laughs> 
Maybe, I mean, they're still still uh, in possession of it. Uh, I mean, tactically speaking, as uh, Sody finally gets a hand on it there, I uh, trying to move this one in. Goes for a little bit of an angel move. Uh, gets it over to Ninja Knight and then a quick steal there. Uh, I believe it was Twang Pants got the hand on it. A multitude of steals results in a three again. This is uh, just not the, the round that they've been looking for for Vertigo because at the moment, Alpha Duck's really capitalizing on a lot of these breakaway goals. Uh, Stody, Martin had one last time around. Starting to pull away here. Did you know that the United States is one of only three countries in the world uh, that does not use the metric system? Well, that one I didn't know. <laughs> but yes, uh, trying to, I guess, look better on their metrics is Vertigo. Trying to get on the scoreboard, but stuck at two points and seven minutes almost expired off this third round. So it, it, it's been closed for the first couple. Very close, in fact, but... At the moment, Alpha Duck's really starting to find their momentum after that slow start. Uh, the shot off and past the hands. So Alpha Duck's again, another rebounded opportunity. This is kind of what uh, Vertigo was really benefiting off of in that, that first round that they won 16 to five as they were getting a lot of rebounds off of their missed shots. And right now, Alpha Duck's doing just the same. So there you go, Lil Rad, 16 to two. Any, any, any more trivia? <laughs> Uh, the youngest country in the world is South Sudan. Uh, well, good facts. I don't know. I, I don't know how to respond anymore. <laughs> so Dimwi's trivia, I, I feel like we're a little bit past the point of not casters cursing this. So I'm just going to point it out in fact. Uh, maybe a comeback situation here in, at play, and maybe that's a good enough to curse it back the other way who knows for vertigo though certainly being bothered heavily by alpha ducks and just uh, yeah well i guess i'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll do vertigo the favor here and i'll say beautiful shots and goals here uh coming out from alpha ducks in this game three. Oh, and just past the hands uh, of martin it looks like and trying to get it back or ninja knight rather but to the hands of damis damis taking it back there's less than two minutes left comeback is looking mighty difficult admittedly at this point i know math Mathematical time, always that factor. Uh, if they can get this one, that'll at least help. But really starting to hurt there off the punch as well from Ninja Knight. So that will, uh, once again, just waste some more precious seconds off the clock here. Yeah, five goals in 20 seconds. It's going to be uh, that's, uh, that's a mountain to climb. So uh, Twang Pants trying to get it back here. Maybe nothing else. Find that, that, uh, that point differential. Make it closer. Uh, but I think at this point, a minute 20 left, we're just looking at basically consolation points for Vertigo, uh, for Alpha Ducks. Absolutely came in this third round strong, uh, looking fantastic and never looking back after that first uh, minute. Yeah, I mean, we saw some beautiful pass sequence from them. I mean, just right like there. that, 20 pants of Damas uh, underneath the goal in that much traffic. Uh, it is good for the two, but yeah, with a 12-point lead, uh, this one is comfortably in the hands of Alpha Ducks as we come out with about uh, 42 seconds to go here. And, uh, yeah, so well played by Alpha Ducks in this, uh, this round three. And uh, apologies to Vertigo uh, if any of you are uh, a little stitious. All right there, they're going in for a vicious game ender perhaps. So still 30 seconds left, but that's a nice shot from Lil Rad. And... Yeah, so Vertigo, just mentioning on, on that last play that they scored on the other end, they went, you know, to the passing play, cut into the bubble, they found that backboard pass, uh, easy shot, and, you know, that's the kind of thing that uh, Alpha Ducks has been trying to deny in this round because that's the play that Vertigo was finding a lot of success with earlier on in the match when they were uh, contesting that series and they were, you know, winning the first round is because of passes like that. But it seemed like as we got more and more late into this game, uh, we saw less less of those passes and just more of the, the cluster ups, pile ups, uh, going back and forth between the arena. And uh, Alpha Ducks certainly benefiting off of that in the end. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, was, I mean, well played from both these teams. Do we have our, our stats to, to look at here? Yes, we do. Uh, so often we can lose those. So it's nice to, ha nice to have them here. Uh, game high points actually swaps over to Lil Rad after that third game. So Kai running away with it in the first two, but then Lil Rad coming back in game. Uh, round three here was 16 points, uh, 11 to Martin the third, six to Stody, three to Ninja Knight, an assist all across the board there, one apiece to Stody and Lil Rat, four to Martin the third, three to Ninja Knight, 
and then saves also across the board, steals across the board. Every single player of Alpha Ducks uh, are contributing in every single conceivable uh, stat column there uh, in this game, particularly in this round three. And of course, over on uh, Vertigo there, you've got Kai with the, the team high points in the game of 14, uh, nine to Damus, four to Sanch, two to Twain Pants, a uh, bunch of assists there to Sanch, and uh, Twain Pants with four piece uh, as we start losing the players now. Uh, and then I, we can uh, still go ahead. I said Cruzen just pointing out the, the 78 stuns from Martin. He's a uh, a fan of that one. Yeah, I mentioned the punches, Martin. Certainly uh, not a surprise to see him up there with that many punches. No, certainly not. He's definitely a punch happy player and it uh, shows on that board there. I mean, 78, that's not a couple, that's a few. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so this is a great game between these two teams. And uh, that round three kind of getting away from Vertigo there. Uh, of course, uh, I'm not actually a, uh, a superstitious individual. Uh, what I was doing was well, really just for fun. Well, now that you follow. jinxed it, <laughs> and, uh, you were superstitious yeah. <laughs> when it was me, my neck at risk. But when it was you, I'm not superstitious. I see how it is. No, of course, it's, it's all for fun. <laughs> of course, it's all for fun. Uh, as, as a great man once said, uh, I'm not superstitious. I'm just kind of stitious. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Got uh, yeah was, uh, Wait, was that was that man you? Uh, no, that was uh, <laughs> Michael Scott, in fact. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, fun game. Uh, it was really great to watch. Uh, we got a uh, round three here, uh, which we, we, you know, uh, sometimes you don't get the opportunity to see. And uh, yeah, Alpha Ducks just taking taking command of that third round there uh, to, to take this one away, nineteen to four, in that th in round three. It was. It and, was. Yeah. It was impressive because they did admittedly get off to a very slow start uh, for Alpha Ducks there. It took them a long time to start scoring their first uh, goal or two. And yeah, just ending that, that only with two goals in that entire first round of 16 to 5. And yet just about an inverse uh, really at play by the third round. So you can see each round they just scored more and more and more. And meanwhile, turning up their defense, Vertigo scoring less across the round. So just, yeah. Uh, very much a full tale of three rounds as uh, Alpha Ducks caught their fire and Vertigo's kind of had theirs put out because otherwise they were really impressing in that first round. Uh, like I said, they're, they're passing plays. When Vertigo is on line and like really focusing on those passes, they are a very, very good, uh, you know, high chemistry passing team. But uh, Alpha Ducks, just the Mighty Ducks tonight and doing some good work. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. Uh, earning that victory in this one here. It's also really interesting to me to see how the, the momentum of the game shifted so evenly across the uh, the three rounds there as uh, Vertigo had a commanding win in round one, then a very close victory to Alpha Ducks in round two, and then Alpha Ducks with a commanding victory in round three. Uh, very interesting to see that that flow there. Cruzen says in the chat, holy moly, there's a lot of games today. Yep, uh, yes, a a AKA, it's Sunday and it's VRML. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. much pretty much all the time. Uh, for these Sundays, so busy, but uh, looks like chances are we should be able to get all these casted. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll be we'll be good. I mean, I don't want to also jinx it, but uh, we do have obviously Dimwi and myself and uh, Sputnik should be joining us, I believe, and so much for subtlety. So we'll have enough cameramen for sure. So uh, yeah, I think I think we'll be good. We'll be good. But yeah, next match will occur in about 52 minutes from now which is to say Adrenaline. Uh, this is their debut week, their second game of the week, but uh, Adrenaline versus Ignite, and uh, as well as Genesis versus Flare. So that's kicking things off now for the rest of the night in, in about 50, 52 minutes. So heads up and join us for those ones. Of course, uh, you know, we've got a couple of Genesis matches there as we, we see versus Orbit as well, Guinness and Deception. Legends versus Ignite, uh, six foot over versus Olympus. We have Invictus, another one of those newer teams, uh, by name, uh, versus Na Plus Ultra. And then Chaos versus There Is No Team to end it. So looking forward to it. But other than that, I suppose we'll peace out for now. So uh, thanks for watching. A Dimwi, you can carry us out if you would like. Yeah, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out with us here on this one. We'll be back in uh, just under an hour on VRML1 and VRML2 or EAM Alpha 1 and EAM Alpha 2. Uh, so yeah, tune in again. Uh, we hope to see you there. Uh, for anyone not going to be joining us for the day, have a good, safe evening. Uh, try not to touch your face, wash your hands, and uh, avoid contact with human beings.
In other words, stay in VR for the remainder of the month. Absolutely. All right. Bye, everyone. Woo!